it, but is that a stereotype? Like yo yo yo, what's up? Or do people actually say ay ay ay? No, they they actually do say. <laughs> You can't report any of that because he's dead. Which is funny because I saw a meme today, which rang true as hell. The meme basically says, whenever a cop kills a suspect, right. he's automatically innocent because he can't go to trial. So whatever it is that you killed him for, he's not, he's not guilty of it. No matter what it no is. No matter what it is, you just killed an innocent man because you're innocent until proven guilty. In this country. Yep. And so if a cop says, well, he had a gun and he pulled it out. Well, what, what's that charge? What's that charge? Is that charge a, assault on a cop? Is that charge, you know, mm -hmm. what is it? Well, we don't know because you killed the motherfucker before you was able to charge him with anything. <laughs> so he can never be proven guilty. So he, so he's innocent regardless. Yeah. Now, had you not killed half these unarmed motherfuckers, and still charged them with, I don't know, assault with a deadly weapon on a cop, we would have went to court, and it would have been proven that, you know, they didn't have a gun. Yeah. So therefore, they didn't assault the cop with a deadly weapon. So either way, they would have gotten off. But the cops' way, we got a dead guy, mm -hmm. <laughs> a dead innocent dude. Yep. <laughs> We just got an innocent body. So, so when people talk about lynching and how that doesn't happen anymore, no, it does. It does happen. Every time a cop kills a suspect, they just took that guy's due process away. Right. They just, they just fucking robbed him of his civil rights. Yep. Now, in terms of, and in, in, in fact, yeah. Because the Constitution don't give, doesn't say shit about a cop's safety. The Constitution doesn't say shit about does a cop deserve to go home at night. You know, mm -hmm. all that. No, that's shit that society is adding into the mix. Right. You know what I'm saying? The Constitution just says everybody is guaranteed due process. So if I'm being charged with a crime or accused of a crime, I am guaranteed due process. And in a speedy trial. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. technically, I shouldn't be waiting fucking three years for a fucking trial. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know? So, but in this case, in Floyd's case, Brooks' case, Taylor's case, Carter case, Rice case, Brown's case, none of them got a trial. Didn't even get a chance. Epstein got a trial. Um, dude that ran up in the... Um, What's the face in church got a trial. So, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, back to you, Trump. What the fuck you got to say? Uh, South Korea's done a lot. They called me. They said, the job you're doing, here's the bad part. When you, test of, when you do testing to that extent, you're going to find more people. You're going to find more cases. So I said to my people, slow the testing down, please. I stand before... <laughs> Everybody's like, yeah, yeah, slow the testing down. <laughs> no more cases. They're all like yelling over each other, just saliva going who, who, everywhere. Right now, everybody in South Korea, like, I, ain't, I didn't say shit to that motherfucker. Everybody, like, you, you said that. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, me, <laughs> hell me. no. Why would I say some stupid shit like that? <laughs> Everybody, the whole nation in South Korea, like, I don't know. <laughs> you think, like, they, I don't got, know what you think they got a sound for? I don't know. No, because I think that sounds like some a word. Like you know how in Spanish, how in English, somebody could say something, and you'd be like, mm. "Do they have something like that in Spanish?" I, I, Is that ay ay ay? I guess that would be something because that doesn't really mean anything. Yeah, because like, always meal is is a, is a, is a phrase. yeah. Those, those are words. Yeah, but ay 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 is not a word. There's, there's, there's no translation of that. But is that a stereotype? Like, yo, 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 what's up? Or do people actually say, ay, ay, ay? No, they actually used to say. <laughs> <laughs> they actually do say it. Like, 
I guess the, uh, there are no sounds. By the they way, say I a lot. I mean, maybe not. Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 I. That's it. <laughs> 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 and they say it like they can have an exclamation after it, you mm -hmm. know. They might be calling your attention. Yeah, true that. You know what I mean? Okay. Hmm. Or like some Hispanics, like uh, like Dominicans, they'll be like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah." <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> but yeah, nobody in South Korea said that to this dude. He's lying. Nobody in America said that to this dude. In America? In America. Maybe, no, in America, he had like five people who roll up to him and be like, yo, bro, <laughs> won't you just stop the damn testing? And then nobody can't come up positive. <laughs> this is the stupidest shit I've ever heard. Yeah, but nobody can't come up negative either. But nobody can come up positive. No more cases. Get it? Stupid. I mean, Eat it. No so, more testing. And as soon as he came off that friggin' thing, they tested him right away. Yeah. Exactly. Him and everybody, everybody that's important. Yep. But if you're not important, you're not going to get a test because you can't be a case. <laughs> but you know what you also can't do? You can't treat anybody. <laughs> Until it's too fucking late. And they've spread it over and over and over. So Trump, I mean, come on, bro. I got I only got about so much show time in the show. <laughs> and we're only 31 seconds and I need you to go at least it's just, a minute without saying something stupid. That's impossible. It's already leading into another stupid thing. I'm gonna try, man. For you today to declare the silent majority is stronger than ever before. <laughs> Silent majority. Live for the applause, please. Five applause months for me. from now, we're going to defeat Sleepy Joe. What the Biden. fuck is the silent majority? When rioting and looting broke out it in our fine. nation's capital. I very quickly deployed the National Guard. I said, "Get them in." After watching for an evening or two, we stopped the violence and restored peace and order to the streets. And last night, they had a little breakout again. They ripped down a statue. That was 110 years old, beautiful piece of art in front of the police precinct with our radical left mayor watching on television. Two days ago, leftist radicals in Portland, Oregon ripped down a statue of George Washington. Look at his face. And wrapped it no in an American flag and set the American flag on fire. Democrat. Dem okay. Now, I've been seeing on on uh, social media, I guess the new thing is Antifa, and Antifa is supposed to be violent. And oh, yeah. I, I've, once again, I haven't seen any, any violence. I haven't heard Me neither. Any, any violence. What's what's the violence? Like, like motherfucker, if you think that's violent, then you don't know what violence is. Like they're trying to make the Antifa to be like KKK or some shit. Yeah, let's slow down that role. Yeah, exactly. Like, like come on. Like once yeah. Like Really? Like I, I don't know what they're trying are they like the Crips and Bloods or KKK or I'll let you know when I see them because so far yeah. I haven't seen them. I just seen a couple people in masks and hoodies, and they just ready to fight the other side that are ready to fight. And that's not a that's group. it. <laughs> that's not a group. That's the. It's not a group of people. That the, doesn't count. They're just ready to fight. The other side is ready to fight. That's all it is. So, yeah. So I don't. I don't know who they are. What they're supposed to be doing, but. Um, if you go anywhere, any conservative board or any conservative person's social media thread, you're going to hear about how horrible these, these people are. Um, hmm. yet 
you, you see no damage. Yeah. Um, Black Lives Matter is a racist organization. And if you, if, if your response to, hey, can we cut some races out, racism out? If your response to that is, I am rubber, you are glue, whatever you say to me, <laughs> bounces off me, sticks to you, then you're probably uh, a racist. Yeah. That just bounce all over the place. Yep. And you probably usually bounce wherever the racist stuff is. That's where you like to bounce to. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Let's go over there. Yeah, let's go over there. Bang, bang, bang. You ain't, you're not bouncing over to the non-racist stuff nope. because you're going to get called out of your bullshit. And that's going to be uncomfortable. <laughs> it's no fun. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like how I was saying before. You can't be, um, yeah, yeah. Nobody's saying, hey, stop worldwide racism. In fact, people would just say stop the violence before they say stop worldwide racism. Yeah. Because people are violent for reasons that have nothing to do with race. Right. And if you could stop the violence, then that would cure worldwide racism, I guess. No, probably no, I don't still think wouldn't. So. People still, still be racist it. towards each other. They yeah. just wouldn't be violent towards exactly. each other. Exactly. It's easy for people to be racist exactly, without being racist, violent. Race is what you think. It's in your heart. Exactly. And it's easy to spit shit out. But it doesn't have to be mandated. You feel me? Right. It's like right now, people fucking hate it that when Obama passed the health care joint, the watered down version required that. You have health insurance. Otherwise, yeah. you can be taxed for it. Well, we pay taxes so that racist laws, Jim Crow laws, could be on the books. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes enacted. Mm -hmm. Black people paid the taxes in the same municipalities in which they had Jim Crow laws. Yeah. You feel me? It's a strange realization. We talked about the Lovings earlier. Well, yeah. he worked. He paid taxes. Oh, yeah. And he couldn't marry his shorty. He was thrown in jail. Yep. You feel me? And and like I said, we did a little thing earlier about, you know, our doppelgangers mm -hmm. 400 years ago, 300 years ago, 200 years ago. Well, like we said, Alabama just changed their, they just uh, changed their constitution in 2000. We met in 99. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like. And it's just 20 right now. So 20 years ago. Yep. 20 years ago. You know, we got children that, that just made the cut. <laughs> just made the cut. Yep. <laughs> just made the cut. Or I don't know. We might have to send them back to, <laughs> back to, re to sender. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Return to sender. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you feel me? So it's like, like, nah, cut it out with, with that. You can't be like, like. If your your whole thing is well, you're racist towards me, I'm racist. Then then you two have beef. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, a private organization can be racist all at once. If you guys love those statues, take all the motherfuckers and, and put them in your yard. Yeah, put them in your yard. Build a museum for yourselves. Yeah, put them in your yard. No, put them in your front yard. It says you love these statues so much and these flags so much. Just cover your house with it. We I don't want to see the brick anymore. I just want to see. I think you should put one in the living room. So no, I want them in the front yard as a centerpiece with fucking billboards. I want I want anybody who loves this shit just cover every inch of your front yard with it, and then you'll probably be you'll probably wonder why you know people don't really like coming over your house that much. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> even the people that agree with you still gonna be like, "Man, I ain't going over there." <laughs> I know. And the people who do show up are going to be showing up to take pictures of this, like, this crazy yeah. ass place. <laughs> so, yeah, go ahead, do that. You know what I mean? Like, like create the, like, how they got the, the wax museum, create the, the Confederate crazy museum. We just, just throw all that shit in your house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And because that's a private situation and nobody can tell you you can't. But, it shouldn't be up in the school. That's a public situation. <laughs> yeah. It shouldn't be on the Capitol building. That's a public situation. Same people that got to go in there and, and listen, abide to those, those laws. 
are the same ones that got to walk under that flag. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That the flag is shitting on. So and it shouldn't be in front of our halls of justice. Yeah, it shouldn't be. None in, of that shit. Nothing public. Nothing public. If you want it, put it in your personal stash. By all means. By all means. If you want to turn your car into the General Lee, by all means. There's more people bitching about the General Lee than we've seen driving around in a General Lee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. Go do it. Or do you only need that when it's time for the for for you to go around other people? Yeah, well, you know. <clears throat> well, here, you see that shit flying all the time. So people brave, they love it. Fly it. Nobody's telling you you can't. Mm -hmm. But they just telling you what 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 it's gonna mean. What exactly. people are gonna see when they see it. It sends a I'm message. All Democrat. Everything I tell you is Democrat. And you know, we ought to do something, Mr. Senators. We have two great senators. We ought to come up with legislation that if you burn the American flag, you go to jail for one year. One year. Okay. So, actually, that was my original point when I first paused that, this shit. Um, I saw this on a conservative thread. In multiple, not just just one, but um, that was the one I replied to. But either way, you can't under one thing be like, is my First Amendment right to support the Confederate flag? Mm -hmm. And it's our history. That's why you can't take it down and all that. And you you trampling on my rights by taking it down. And then be like, well, but if you burn the flag, you go into jail. Yeah. There's there's here we don't represent symbols. We don't we don't worship symbols in America. Right. That's that's Trumpistan, Confederate maybe in the Confederacy, if they would have succeeded and won the war, there would have been a lot of symbol worshiping. <laughs> but they lost. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't have it. There would have been slavery and, <laughs> and uh, symbol worshiping in America. <laughs> it would be a totally different America. America. <laughs> mm -hmm. But in America, <laughs> good old U.S. of A, we don't worship symbols here. No. No, this is the dimension we don't where do we that. don't. The flag. Hold on. So they got a problem with you burning the flag, but they didn't have a problem with people burning people. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason why it's illegal to destroy money, U.S. currency, because technically the money doesn't doesn't belong to you. Right. You're just using it in exchange. It was it was distributed to you. Right. You know, um, and you have nothing to do with how much of that that paper mm -hmm. entity is circulating in and out <laughs> of society. You know what I'm saying? Correct. I'm assuming. There's some place where they probably can pull out a journal or ledger and be like, yeah, we got we currently got one billion one dollar bills out there. And, you no, know, they're I mean? tracked. Yeah, that's why they have yeah. numbers on them. Exactly. Exactly. And and eventually they pull and they wash and they clean. They're destroyed. It doesn't belong to you. But yep. the flag itself, you can make a flag. You can you can make a flag. Yeah. You can wear a flag. Yep. You can get dirty in a flag. Mm -hmm. Wipe your ass with a flag. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and if you have flag underwear, you probably are every time you fucking move in them. You know. What I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody use bedales. 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 Bedale. No. Bedale. Yeah, I knew you were gonna do that. But <laughs> <laughs> Nobody use bedales. Matter of fact, some people don't even, have, don't even wipe their ass bidets <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in America. <laughs> mm. Some Americans. They got their own stripes. <laughs> yeah, don't wipe their ass bidets, yo. They're creating their own stripes and bars. <laughs> but yeah, we don't have bidets in here in America. So, so nah, you can do whatever you want. You know, if, you, if you're wearing flag thongs, you know, they're going to get a little smelly. Oh, you know what I mean? But, you know, but <laughs> nobody's tripping. Nobody's tripping. Nobody's checking your laundry basket like, yo, what's up with these flag thongs? You know, I don't flag socks. Like I did yesterday. I, don't have one now. I mean, some may consider, you're right, wearing like 
flag underwear disrespectful. Yeah. I got a romper. U.S. flag romper. Yeah. (laughs) And I'll be wearing that joint, too. A full (laughs) zip-up. Full zip-up romper with a hood. I wish I had it on now because the back of my neck is a little chilly. (laughs) Shit. It's your outfit for um, for for Fourth of July. Yep. You know what? I'll probably be rocking it when I'm sitting and chilling out in my romper. And anybody yep. don't like it, don't come around me, bro. Yep. Like I'm, I, I like your Fourth of July get Yeah, I'm one of those that that yeah, I, I look silly on that day. I don't think you look silly. I think you look extremely patriotic. Nah, yeah, sure, but nah, I I don't mind looking silly. I like you said, I don't mind go, I don't mind going for silly. You know, the internet guy thought you looked pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. probably he's probably down with Murka do. Mm-hmm. He seemed like he was. So either way, um but yeah, you it's your first amendment right to do whatever the fuck you want to fly. You can make your own flag. You know what I'm saying? There there's nothing as far as I know, I mean, Google real quick, can is it illegal to make your own flag? I don't think it is. No, it's not. I mean, if it is, you know how many no, just just for shits and giggles, you know. How many people should be arrested for making masks? Exactly, or 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 yeah, like I said, you make the underwear, you and make why it a flag. Would they sell the fabric in stores. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Like, um, but still, just for shits and giggles. Why Trump is talking that talk? <laughs> One year. Biden is a very willing Trojan horse for socialism. These police officers, they get injured. They don't complain. They're incredible. And injure thousands upon thousands of people only to hear the radical fake news say what a beautiful rally it was. And they never talk about COVID. They don't talk about what you see 25,000 people walking down Fifth Avenue or walking down a street of a Democrat-run city. You never hear them saying they're not wearing their mask. By the way... Because they do be wearing masks. Yeah. <laughs> Pay attention. Yeah, look at the pictures. You're going to see tons of motherfuckers wearing masks. <laughs> like, come on. Nick Cannon was wearing a mask. Like, they do be wearing masks. Like, you never hear them say, you never hear them talk about COVID. And that's just another thing. We're not going to let motherfuckers be distracting. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Look, enough with squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. No, you cold busted. Now shut your mouth because you cold busted. <laughs> like Orange Juice Jones said. Orange Juice Jones. Yeah, you cold busted, homie. So, um, we are <laughs> going to take a break here. I think it's You time. want some wine? Yeah, it's time for a fill up. Yeah. So, let's just take a little quicker, quick five minute, and then uh, we'll be right back. All right. All right. See you soon. Peace. Like, I'm talking like late 70s, early 80s. <laughs> <laughs> Place to be. The place to be. It's like hello. 1981 call. They want their beat back. <laughs> <laughs> I I DMC is the place to be. What? 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 I get funky on the mic. E. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh man. Alrighty, alrighty. <laughs> yeah, it is a little um, 80s, 80s, 80s hip hop, 80s hip hop, yeah. or or like 90s West Coast vibe, but but early 90s. Like I yeah. can see like DJ Quick, you know. Yeah, exactly. Something like this, you know. Yeah, I'm glad you you saw what I was throwing out there. Yeah, yeah, I feel your vibe. <laughs> you know, you know your you know your beats. I think so. You know your beats. I think I'm pretty good with those. <laughs> beats by JMC. Yep. Coming soon. Yeah, coming soon. Keep checking out Hidden Closet. <laughs> I had to get a refill during the break. You got your wine? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is that one of the ones we got from uh, wines.com? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a nice little red, you know? Yep. We put that, yeah. Yeah, I think I think that wines.com is pretty cool. They got some good selections on there. Um, and we are lucky enough to not be able to offer 
some coupon codes to some of our um, interested parties out there. And oh, what? Pleasant. Yep, yep, absolutely. I think, um, you know, we've never been the bougie type where we, you know, join a wine club and, you know, we pay like hundreds of dollars for these wines and stuff like that. Actually, these are really great wines um, at really good prices. Right now, we're offering... Delivered to your door? Delivered to your door, Corona-free. <laughs> <laughs> Contactless <laughs> wine delivery. Um, and for new our new for new customers um if you use our new promo code new 2020 you'll get 20 percent off oh uh, yep your first order so that's new2020 um and check out hidden closet you'll see the link on there for wine.com uh we have some great sales on there or they have some great sales on there um like 50 percent off Are you really fire some wines. oh this. my gosh because <laughs> i love being able to save money on things that we buy I, so I often tell, i can tell you got your notes because normally you're like freestyling them but this one you're like it's so new right now that I'm so excited about oh, it. Okay. All know? right. Well, wine.com. I'm excited about it because I like wine. Yes. And yeah, I don't <laughs> like wine, but I like getting it at a good price. You and, know? And while... I feel like I've accomplished something. And while I don't mind going to a store, to be honest, with this lockdown, yeah, it delivered at the door is great. But right. I have gotten it delivered at the door even prior to this with other companies, but wine.com is, is fucking awesome. Yeah. And, well... Excuse me, <laughs> bleeping awesome, <laughs> and yeah. So you know, go to Hidden Closet and uh, yeah, click on there, and you'll get some great, great deals. Wine.com. Wine.com. <laughs> Drink up. Drink up. Drink responsibly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if that's what you do. Well, right now you have no choice but to drink responsibly because you're not supposed to go anywhere. So just drink. Yeah, do what you do. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to tell people. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I kind of like... Have a glass of wine, sit back, listen to some good music. Chill. Listen to some good music, talk about some cool things. Yeah. Uh, listen to TMC for JMC show, catch up on the newest. Thanks for watching. And to see more T4J content, please visit TMC4JMC.com. And uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff because uh, we appreciate your support. All right? Peace. <laughs> <laughs> cool.